Hi, I'm Dennis McCoy, 50 years of age from Kansas City, Missouri, and I'll be competing in BMX Vert. Well, I started riding BMX in the 70s, and by 1984, I got sponsored by Haro, and freestyle was taken off in terms of the contest series. Turned pro in 1986, and in 1995, which was my 10th year riding professionally, the X Games came around. I've never missed a year of X Games. 1995 was the first one, and ironically, uh, because I was 28, the elder statesman of BMX, I got the grandfather of BMX tag on the screen. So I don't know what that makes me now. This would be year 23. It would be myself and Bob Burnquist, which, you know, with BMX and skate being the two staple events, it's kind of kind of fitting. Back in 2013, there was actually, I rode a couple of them with Brazil and Barcelona. And then Munich, Bob got to sneak an extra one in on me because they didn't hold BMX for it there. But I was there uh, rolling the streets and commentating the event. So I've uh, been a part of every single one of them and have competed every single year since the beginning. It, to reflect back on it can be pretty wild at times because again, it was my 10th year as a pro when the first X Games came around and I was riding with like my best friends. I mean, Matt Hoffman, Dave Mira, Rick Thorne, we road tripped out there from Kansas City with my wife and uh, you know, it was, you were on the deck with the same guys that you did shows with so there'll always be that part that I hold on to that, that kind of reflect back on those early years is really cool. But it's cool too to be up on the deck with like the newest generation of guys that rip it up and have been able to like be a part of both and everything in between really. To me it's going and just hanging out with friends and riding your bike and really enjoying it. It's never been overly competitive and maybe that's why I'm in my 32nd straight year of, of riding professional events because if you don't take things too seriously you don't get ahead on yourself when you do well and you don't uh, get bummed out too much when you don't do well. You just go to the next one and keep on keeping on. I guess it's it's a side effect of doing this as long as I have is that now the, the younger generation gets to go, wow, I can keep doing it at that age. And I've never seen an end in sight, to be honest. I've always felt like this is what I love to do. But if you have told me that at 50, I'd feel like in better health, better riding than I did at 40, I, I wouldn't have been shocked, but that's where I'm at right now. I mean, looking ahead to 60, seems like better years than 40 to 50 did and I loved every one of those so it's just about doing what you love and keeping at it and uh, if I can set an example to people that you don't have to stop when the mainstream public thinks you're too old to ride a bike or when someone else says you're gonna have arthritis you're gonna ache just go ride <laughs>